G'day guys, Ben Zachariah from drive.com.au. On this beautiful Melbourne night, we are here with the 10th anniversary edition of the Toyota GR86. Now, if you're after a two-door manual rear-wheel drive entry-level sports car, your options are pretty much limited to the Mazda MX-5, this GR86, or its identical twin, the Subaru BRZ. But with internal combustion engines and manual transmissions being phased out left, right, and center, is the sun setting on the affordable sports car? The GR86 10th Anniversary Edition was announced back in March 2023, with Toyota offering a total of just 86 vehicles to those willing to spend $46,700 plus on-road costs. Based on the range-topping GTS variant, buyers had the option of a 6-speed automatic or 6-speed manual transmission, but that's pretty much where the options list ends. This limited edition is finished in a unique solar orange paint scheme, with that theme continuing into the cabin. There's orange contrast stitching on the steering wheel, handbrake, gear shift boot, as well as 10th anniversary embroidery on the doors. So what's this all in celebration of exactly? Well, let's take a look at where we've been, how we got here, and where we're going. First revealed as a concept car in 2011, the Toyota 86, as it was known back then, didn't arrive in Australia until the second half of 2012. This car celebrates its 10th anniversary, but how many more birthdays will there be? A lot has been said about the GR86 being made by Subaru, and here are a few things you might not have known. Firstly, the Toyota 86 was marketed as an homage to the AE86, sold here as the Corolla Sprinter in the 1980s, with the bore and stroke of the 2.0-litre engine a decade ago being 86 by 86. That's no longer the case, with the engine now a 2.4-litre flat 4 boxer engine, producing 174 kilowatts and 250 newton meters. The other thing is, while Toyota will tell you this car would never have existed without its backing, this is, for all intents and purposes, a Subaru. In fact, the first generation 86 and BRZ actually shared a few parts with the original Subaru Impreza of the 1990s. But one could make the argument that this was just a Subaru Impreza coupe with the front axles removed to make it rear wheel drive. Okay, that may be a stretch, but the 86 used and still uses a 5x100 stud pattern for the wheels a measurement that very few car manufacturers have continued with, including Subaru, which changed from 5x100 to 5x114.3 on the 2014 WRX. It also shared some suspension components with the first generation Impreza, as well as a number of other Subarus of that vintage. Without getting overly technical, there is a genetic link between this car we're driving today and the original Impreza WRX of the 1990s, made famous by rally driver Colin McRae. You could think of it like that was the wolf and this is the domesticated dog. Except, this thing can feel properly untamed when you grab it by the scruff of its neck. If you've made it this far into the video, why not give us a like and a subscribe? Now back to the drive. This second generation GR86 uses a modified version of the first gen chassis, albeit longer and lower, as well as being 50% stronger. And thanks to an aluminium roof, front quarter panels, and bonnet, this car only weighs around 1,300 kilograms. Now that's properly lightweight in this day and age. Toyota may not actively talk about the origins of this car, but frankly, I think it's only a good thing. The GR86 carries with it some of the DNA of sports cars from the 1990s, considered a golden era by many, with beautiful designs and wonderful engaging chassis. Do you agree? Let us know what you think was the golden era of cars in the comment section below. But like those cars of the 1990s, I think the GR86 is properly beautiful. And it just so happens to be one of the most rewarding cars to drive on sale right now without spending hundreds of thousands of dollars. With fewer than 5,000 sports cars under $80,000 being sold in Australia last year, the fact is the Toyota GR86 and Subaru BRZ probably wouldn't exist unless the two companies work together and leverage their research and development from models of the past. Despite barely fitting into it, I'm a big fan of the Mazda MX-5, but the reality is the GR86 offers far more space and practicality, 
along with an engine and chassis that's just a joy to use. It's perfectly calm driving around the city at low speeds, but offers a high level of driving engagement once you start pushing it, but without the danger of entering into license losing territory, as is the case with high powered sports cars. Which is why it's created a cult following all of its own, as well as dedicated GR86 racing championships all around the world. Make no mistake, this is genuinely one of the best sports cars you can buy today. It's a stripped back, simple affair, and with just the right amount of power to get the most from this sublime chassis. And the future looks bright. Rumours out of Japan suggest the next generation GR86 will be Toyota's own, borrowing the engine from the GR Yaris and Corolla, potentially with hybrid assistance, as well as suspension components from a previous generation Lexus IS. Whether that proves to be true, only time will tell. But I do know that we are privileged that companies like Toyota are willing to keep making sports cars like this for us. Happy birthday to the GR86, and here's to many more years to come. If you enjoyed today's video, hit like and subscribe and you'll be one of the first to see our videos as they come out. Thanks for watching.